So we're talking about home automation and KNX and how the two systems or how different kind of systems between maybe lighting and HVAC and systems control can be paired with more systems that we're familiar with from maybe a home entertainment perspective, AV control systems. And what that opportunity is for, for the people who are installing those systems, but also for the homeowners, which I think is really important. Um, so first we're gonna have a little chat about some of the, the way we see these systems being different uh, in the market. So Wim, you're, you're more kind of closer to the market in the sense that you work on the ground, if you like. Mm -hmm. How do you see the two systems kind of merging? Where's that, where's that opportunity in the market? And, and what's, you know, what's some of your kind of, yeah, your, your practical experience in terms of working with integrators on this topic? So before we go specifically to the systems, because that's a very brief answer, I think, is um, we're in the KNX philosophy and movement uh, to a large extent because they've been so very successful in creating thousands and thousands of well-trained professionals that have all the skills you need to bring technology to the home. They've also been able to bring in architects and people from outside the industry to understand how important it is that the end user is happy with a solid and well-installed system. Mm -hmm. So 400 of the 500 professionals we serve in continental Europe are KNX certified. So in that sense, before going to any technicalities, mm. this is something that no, no one else in the AV and control industry where I come from for 20 years has been able to do. There's networks effect, network effects in the KNX community that nobody else has been able to do in AV or control. Mm. Because every time there's a new professional or a new manufacturer in that network, the network is, is worth more. Yeah. So, so that's on the business side mm. um, and they have practices that are well thought out of. And then from the home automation side, I see home automation as just a part of a, a, a technology system that should be brought to the home. I don't see it as binary, one or the other. And that brings me to, to how we see, um, when I say we, it's us and our installers, because everything we know actually comes from the installers, not because <laughs> of anything else. Um, and certainly not from the manufacturers, it comes from the installers. What we see is that people want to use products and solutions for what they do best. And then the answer technically is the companies that come from AV, they're very good at the GUI, the human interface. How do I deal with complex systems? So we think that should be done there. What KNX has been done at a much bigger scale than, than, than the other industry is reliable functions that are simple. So actuators, sensors, motors, they do that incredibly well. And then the question is, where do you connect both? Yeah. We believe that the weakness that we, again, the installers, I think is very clear. The weakness in the whole ecosystem is the gateways. It's not manufacturers who build at scale stuff. It's the gateways between systems. Nobody really builds those at scale. So a native input on a control system to connect a KNX system, HVAC, lighting, blinds, is the ideal way, and that doesn't exist yet. No control company has seen the light. So in the meantime, what we recommend is that there's IP addressing in everything that is done in KNX, and any control system, disclaimer, we are SNAP1, we deal with control four, but I think it goes for all control systems, can then deal with the complexity of scenes, the user interface in the control system. Yeah. For me, the sum of all that is home automation. Yeah. It's not home automation versus KNX. No, yeah. So that's in a nutshell how we see it. But it comes from our experience with KNX installers that have a very clear view on how to deliver great systems to end users. That's the origin. It's the installer who does a great job, Absolutely. not the product. Absolutely. So that's how we see it.